Mr. Holmes, do you have any news about my father? Tom, Tom, not so fast. I wanted to ask you if you remember your father mentioning anything about a special education program. An education program? No, he only talked about a special job. What's this box, Tom? Oh, yeah. I just found it, Mr. Holmes. It was ever so well hidden. I've no idea why. Well done, my boy. It could prove very helpful. This oil can also be used on weapons. Wolfjack. Looks like a military badge. A ramrod to clean a rifle. Tom, does your father own a rifle? A rifle? No. If he had, he would have shown it me. I'm sure that he wouldn't have shown it you. I need to find this rifle. This scrap of cloth was used to oil a firearm. Tom, does your father have any other property? No. Well, at least I don't think so. I have to take Toby. He'll take a sniff of the oil, and we'll find that rifle. Here it is. My analysis table. It's useful for my work. Come on, Toby. It's time for you to earn your keep. Watson, I prefer to visit Lord Marsh. I'm worried about the condition of his health. I prefer to visit... My analysis table. Search, Toby. Search. It's only a garden shed. Let's go on.
People use this cellar for storage. Nothing that could interest me. Pile of rubbish. It's not here. Old things. Tom's photograph. Let's try to get inside. News clippings on lords in the education program. Why are they here? Let's compare this list with the evidence that we found earlier. This is the list of selected participants for October's special education program. According to this poster, John Strobridge is missing. Let's compare them with people from Hearst documents. This man appears in both documents. people in Marsh's document are marked and dated in George Hurst's files. This case must have been full of cartridges. There was something on the stand. There was a rifle here. George Hurst took it with him. A map of Epping Forest.
Holmes, what are you doing here? What are you planning? A mission of my own. You must play the role of the conscientious doctor while I sneak inside Marsh's house. That's the only way of helping little Tom. This is not the best way to sneak in. The window is firmly shut. How can I help you? I came to visit Lord Marsh. What for? I would very much like to see Lord Marsh, if you please. Oh, you're so clumsy. Can you please not... I have to visit Lord Marsh and offer him my services. Fisher, please allow Dr. Watson to enter. Good job, Watson. I have to finish my search of the office. I can hide here. Lord Marsh is a keen hunter. Let's see how hard to crack this safe is. Doctor, it appears that you were impatient to pay me another visit. Indeed. Will you allow me to examine you? A second opinion, so that the great Lord Marsh does not become the late Lord Marsh. <laughs> well, since you put it that way, very well. Shall I retire to your office, Lord Marsh? No, please, Doctor. I insist that you stay. I shall need your assistance. Will you break anything else? I'll try my best.
November 7th. This means that the meeting is planned for today. Hmm. I'd suggest that your current weakness is perhaps more than a simple case of influenza, Lord Marsh. <coughs> Where might your companion be, Dr. Watson? Oh, he's busy poking his nose into other people's business, I'm sure. <clears throat> My lord, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I must remind you about your meeting. Is it already time? My apologies, Dr. Watson, but we are expected elsewhere. Might we offer you a lift? You are going out. I'm not sure that's wise in your condition. I value your opinion, but misery never rests and I am needed. Well, do please take good care of yourself, Lord Marsh. I'll send you my diagnosis, Dr. Fisher. Thank you, Dr. Watson. Farewell. map of London and its surroundings. Could be useful. Well, well. Sweet slumber after a... Watson, what are you doing at my table? I just need to check one thing about Lord Marsh. My intuition tells me that Lord Marsh is hiding something about his disease. His cough, in addition to his fever and his usage of strong painkillers, leads me to believe that he is seriously ill. Let's study it more closely. Sputum with tiny drops of blood. Hmm. I could take a sample and examine it under the microscope. Let us... Let us apply chemic. I need a pipette. This chemical should be applied. Th Now, let's examine the colored sample under the microscope. I need a sample. A mycobacterium. It appears that Lord Marsh is seriously ill. Holmes, this is no longer a laughing matter. It is just as I feared Lord Marsh is suffering from tuberculosis. You don't say. Yes, I do say. And Holmes, he will die if he is not transferred to a sanatorium as soon as possible. And yet both Lord Marsh and Dr. Fisher are doing their best to hide this fact. How interesting. But why? Why indeed, Watson. Oh, but... Oh, dear God. You don't think that Lord Marsh contracted tuberculosis while aiding the poor? How terrible. I have a commitment that I can't possibly cancel. Holmes, during my absence, please be extremely careful. This disease is highly contagious. And remember that we have women at home. Thank you, Miss Alice. Until later. I'll see you soon, Caitlin. Where have you been? Our neighbor lent me a book. She is so kind. I think she likes you. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that. How is your investigation going? It's going. Dracula? 
Yes, it's forbidden reading at my boarding school. Did you know? Well, well. <sighs> this is so romantic. My analysis table. It's useful for my work. A map of London and it's a A map of London and it's... This is Kate's room, it's private. My analysis table. Here it is. Cronston's Oak is in Epping Forest. That's the place indicated on George Hurst's map. Let's try to find the place from the hand.
here it is. Drat. I'll need to hurry if I want to find out what's going on at the forest. Father, that boy Wiggins, does he come here very often? He helps occasionally in some of my cases. Why do you ask? I'd like to talk to him. Talk to him? Father, back at school there are only girls to talk to, and they are so boring. I'm sure Wiggins has lots of exciting stories to tell about his life in London. It would be so romantic. Caitlin, you know that Wiggins hasn't had the most fortunate life. That only makes him more interesting. Oh, Kate. I'll leave you alone now. See how long you can stay alive! <laughs> He 
was poor. He was... This man was killed recently. The body is still warm. Find him, boys! Find him! <laughs> God, it's Lord Harrington's body. He was killed by a shot to the forehead. My health is deteriorating. I need to dress my wound.
can hide here. The Quartermain Club. This must be Lord Marsh's cabin. This will help to dress my wound. Someone's coming, I better hide. Breathe, Lord Marsh. It's almost over. Who are you? George Erst from the First Lovett Scouts, here to deliver justice. <laughs> An old soldier. How ironic. Did we refuse you on our special education program? It's true, I was refused. An old wounded soldier is useless to you, but he can still be dangerous. We hunted a lot in these woods, but I didn't expect to become the prey. I have lived a grand life without any limits set by others. I will die a happy man, so you won't see me begging, you festering wretch. <laughs> Prepare to meet your maker. George, lower your rifle, please, for Tom's sake. Holmes! My, my. An almost worthy opponent. Tom? My Tom? If you've endangered my lad in any way, you will pay dearly. I assure you that Tom is safe in London with a well-trusted friend. And now it's time to end this. By all means. George, listen to me. If you're seeking an apt punishment and vengeance, killing Marsh will give him exactly what he wants. He would die knowing that he had fulfilled his life through his absolute control of it. But if you allow Marsh to live and be arrested, he will suffer a punishment far greater than your I could deliver. His ball and chain will be the debilitating tuberculosis. It will drag him painfully and slowly to his demise behind bars. You're mad! You're both mad! Let's go and find Tom. Not just yet. See, Lord Marsh, you will die here. Although not by the gun, you'll die slowly. Don't do this, George. Detective, take a look here. This is how you became sick, Lord Marsh. The beheading of your victims who were suffering from tuberculosis was what infected you. Poetic justice. Holmes, you cannot fully understand why we helped so many and sacrificed a few. But don't let me die like this. Just kill me now. Mr. Hurst, you've already served brutal mm. justice to Lord Harrington mm. and I hope Lord Collins and Dr. Fisher. Taking that into consideration, mm. you may as well kill Lord Marsh and end the Quartermain Club completely. No loose ends. <laughs> 